Today's question is, what are the seven bowls or vials of Revelation? In this video, I'll answer that question from a biblical perspective. Then afterwards, as always, I'll share some helpful resources. So stick around until the end. The seven bowl or vile judgments are the final judgments of the tribulation period. They will be the most severe judgments the world has ever seen. The seven bowls are described in Revelation chapter 16 verses 1 through 21, where they are specifically called the seven bowls of God's wrath, verse 1. Under the Antichrist, the wickedness of man has reached its peak and is met with God's wrath against sin. The seven bowl judgments are called forth by the seventh trumpet. The first bowl. The first angels pours out the first bowl on the land, and ugly, festering sores broke out on the people who had the mark of the beast and worshipped its image. Revelation chapter 16, verse 2. This plague is targeted at those who have committed themselves to the Antichrist. Tribulation saints will not be affected by these sores. The second bowl. The second bowl is poured out on the sea, turning the water into blood like that of a dead person, and every living thing in the sea died. Revelation chapter 16, verse 3. A third of the sea life had already perished with the sounding of the second trumpet in Revelation chapter 8, verse 9. And now, the rest of the sea life is gone. The oceans are dead. The third bowl. When the third bowl of God's wrath is poured out, the rivers and freshwater springs also turn to blood. Revelation chapter 16, verses 4 and 5. The angel in charge of the water says, You are just in these judgments, O Holy One. You who are and who were, for they have shed the blood of your holy people and your prophets, and you have given them blood to drink as they deserve. Verses 5 and 6. The altar in heaven responds, Yes, Lord God Almighty, true and just are your judgments. Verse 7. The fourth bowl. The fourth angel pours out his bowl on the sun, and the sun was allowed to scorch people with fire. They were seared by the intense heat. Revelation chapter 16, verses 8 and 9. Rather than repent of their sin, the wicked inhabitants of the earth cursed the name of God who had control over these plagues but they refuse to repent and glorify him. Verse 9. The fifth bowl. The fifth of the seven bowls causes the kingdom of the beast to be plunged into great darkness. The pain and suffering of the wicked intensify so that people gnaw their tongues in agony. Still, the followers of the Antichrist refuse to repent of what they had done. Revelation chapter 16, verses 10 through 11. The sixth bowl. The sixth angel pours out his bowl of judgment on the Euphrates River. That river is dried up in preparation for the kings of the east, making their way to their own destruction. Verse 12. John then sees three unclean spirits that looked like frogs coming from the mouths of Satan, the Antichrist, and the false prophet. Verse 13. These demons perform miracles and deceive the kings of the earth and gather them to the final battle on the day of the Lord. Verse 14. Under demonic influence, the kings gather together to the place that in Hebrew is called Armageddon. Verse 16. The seventh bowl. The seventh bowl is emptied into the atmosphere. A loud voice in heaven says, It is done. Revelation chapter 16, verse 17. The seventh bowl results in flashes of lightning and an earthquake so severe that no earthquake like it has ever occurred since mankind has been on earth. So tremendous was the quake. Verse 18. Jerusalem is split into three parts and the cities of the world collapse. Verse 19. Islands are flooded and the mountains disappear. Verse 20. Giant hailstones, each weighing about 100 pounds, fell on people. Verse 21. Those under judgment curse God on account of the plague of hail because the plague was so terrible. Verse 21. One of the angels of the seven bold judgments then shows John the fate of Babylon the Great. Revelation chapter 17. As God avenges the blood of prophets and of God's holy people of all who have been slaughtered on the earth. Revelation chapter 18 verse 24. The world mourns the fall of Babylon in chapter 18, but heaven rejoices in chapter 19. 
Jesus Christ then returns in glory to defeat the armies of the Antichrist at Armageddon, Revelation chapter 19, verses 11 through 21, and to set up his kingdom on earth, Revelation chapter 20, verses 1 through 6. Want to learn more? Subscribe so you don't miss the next video. Visit gotquestions.org for more great content and check out the details section below this video. There's one book I recommend along with several related questions. If you'd like to learn about Bible Munch or if you're interested in bite-sized devotionals, subscribe to Bible Munch on YouTube. It's linked right here. Now remember, got questions? The Bible has answers and we'll help you find them.